In this video, you are going to learn how to create a button on a taskpad to display a pop-up taskpad. In order to do this, the first thing you will need to do is create the pop-up taskpad. To do this, click Admin, search Task, and click on Taskpad. Click on Create New Taskpad. The first thing you want to do is name your taskpad. I suggest using the word pop-up in the title of your taskpad so that it's easy to find which taskpads are pop-up taskpads. Let's say, for example, you want to create a taskpad different sizes of bags of ice that you have. We can title this pop-up ice. You can change the number of columns or rows that you would like on your taskpad. I'm going to change this one to only one row because we don't need a whole lot of space on this taskpad. But you can change it to whatever is needed for your taskpad. You can change where this taskpad syncs to. You can select if you want it available at all locations or if you want it available at a specific location. Is active checked means that the button is active or the taskpad is active. If you ever wanted to deactivate this taskpad, you would uncheck this box. And click Save. Now that you have your pop-up taskpad created, you can modify the buttons on it. I'm going to walk you through how to create a close button on the taskpad. You want to create a text for, to show on your button. You can close or cancel, whichever one you would like. You can set the parameters for the button as you would like, such as color or user roles. In the command box, type in close. And the command that you want is close all open dialogs. When you hover over the command, you will see that it says parameters none. This means that there are no parameters that need to be entered into the command parameter box. Once you're done changing the button properties as you would like them, click Save. You can create buttons for whatever items you would like to have in this taskpad. If you have not watched the Taskpad 101 video, I urge you to do so. That video goes over how to create buttons to ring up specific items. Since the video already covers the topic, I'm not going to go over that again here. Uh, once you have your pop-up taskpad created, the next step is to create a button that will display this pop-up. So admin, and search task, and click on taskpads. The button that we're, or the taskpad that we're going to add this button to is POS Default Pro. So we'll click on that taskpad. We'll scroll down, click on the button that we would like to modify, and title the button. In the command box, Type in task. This will show the commands for task pads. The ones we want is show pop up task pad. And when you ho hover over that one, you will see that there are parameters that need to be set for this button. 
In order to set these parameters, you can click on the Edit Command Parameter button. This button may dis be displayed underneath the Command Parameter box, or it may be displayed on the bottom right corner. Click on it to bring up the Edit Command window. Click Properties, and it will show it this list of the parameters available title and taskpad name are the two properties that are required. Title is the title that you want displayed when the pop-up taskpad displays. Let's title that big device. The taskpad name is the exact name of the taskpad that you would like to display. In this instance, pop up ice. Once you're done setting the properties that you would like for the button, click submit. You'll see in that the system created the command parameters for you. With the title is bags of ice and the taskpad name that we're calling is pop up ice. Once you're done, setting the parameters that, for the button that you would like. Scroll up and click Save. And typically, it takes about 30 seconds or so for the changes that you've made to sync to the POS. Now, when we switch over to Cloud Retailer, you will see that the ice button that we created is not displayed. One of the other steps that you'll have to do is navigate away from this taskpad and back it to it in order for the task or for the ice button to appear. Click Manager Tasks and click Home, and now you'll see that the ice button does appear. Click. You'll see the title "Bags of Ice" and the close button and that the pop-up ice bot taskpad that we created is displaying. You click close, you'll see that it does indeed close the taskpad.